there. Glad to have you on another adventure. I am near the town of Red Cliff, Colorado. And the reason why I wanted to come out to Red Cliff is because this beautiful green bridge of US 24 that spans over the Eagle River, spans over the railroad tracks and Water Street here. And, and I wanted to come scope this area out for some future photography that I plan on doing. And right now my goal is to set up and see whether or not I could actually get a star trail photo with the green bridge behind me. So I'm gonna set my camera up here, take a couple test shots and see how that works. Then I'm gonna go over the other side and line it up and see if maybe later in the Milky Way season, if I can't get a Milky Way shot with this beautiful green bridge there. So let's see if we can get this set up. When I shoot my star trail photo, I plan on using my 24 1.4G master lens. Um, the wide aperture is gonna allow me to bring that ISO down and I should be able to get some decent length shutter speeds in order to get some movement in the stars. I'm gonna put it in portrait orientation. That way I really capture everything from the road here and then above the bridge. So I've gotta set my L bracket up here in order to be able to set it on my nodal rail there. The L bracket allows me to move it in and out. So whenever I'm storing it in my camera backpack, I don't have it sticking out, taking up too much space, but whenever I need to use it and create a little bit of clearance between the nodal rail here, as well as the camera, I can just extend that out and then slap it in here and lock it down. Now I've got a really good view on the bridge right now. I've got this road that's leading you right through the canyon there. I've got this beautiful cliff up above. What I need to do now is check and see whether or not this framing is actually going to capture the North Star so that I can get those star trails spinning around it. For that, I'm gonna use my phone. So using the Skyview app, it looks like Polaris is actually gonna be that way and my camera is facing this way. It's gonna cause me to have to completely rethink the composition that I want for this photo in order to get star trails with this bridge. But that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come out here and actually try to set up and get a feel for whether or not this shot was gonna work instead of coming out here in the middle of the night when it's gonna be even colder and try to make that shot happen. So let's move on and find another composition that hopefully is gonna allow this shot to work. While I was set up here in order to check this composition and the alignment of Polaris, I looked at the composition I had and thought, well, you know, this actually may make a nice photo by itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap off a couple frames here. Well, it looks like if I wanna shoot star trails circling around Polaris with the bridge, I'm gonna to have to go down there where the former railroad track was and hike a little bit from the town of Red Cliff out there, get set up in position. That's something that's probably doable during the summer when there isn't a lot of snow out there. The only problem I have with that is shooting star trails usually involves several hours of photography and I just don't know that there'd be much for me to do while I'm out there. So I'm gonna keep this one in my back pocket and revisit later on in the summer and decide if that's something that I truly wanna do. So I'm up at the Greenbridge Overlook and while I'm out here, my goal was to get a nice sunset shot here. Um, I'm a little concerned because this dark gray cloud just started moving right across the scene and that's probably gonna ruin uh, what I'm trying to accomplish here. But uh, hopefully I can salvage something, made the drive out here, did the scouting trip, didn't see what I wanted to see for star trails, but. Uh, hopefully I can get something for the sunset. Well, the sky didn't get the pinks and the purples that I was really hoping for, but I did get some nice warm tone on the clouds earlier in the sunset, so I'm hoping those turn out good. I've got one more composition I wanna try out, so I'm gonna reposition and see if I can't get this shot before we pack it up and head on home. Let's go see how it turns out.
I was standing over there taking pictures of the bridge and behind me is this beautiful just rock wall, just cliff along here and the way that the road bends around. So I'm gonna try to get a light trail photo here in a moment, see if I can't make that work. With this 24 millimeter lens, the smallest f-stop I can go is f-16, and that's not enough to get a long enough shutter speed to get the cars as they negotiate every corner here that I'm trying to. So I'm gonna put my six stop neutral density filter in. That's gonna allow me to get a 30 second exposure. I'll adjust the ISO and the aperture in order to make sure that's where I am. And then whenever I see a car start coming down, I'll go ahead and fire off the shutter, and hopefully that'll be the right amount of time to get the light trail that I'm looking for. would have it I actually got two cars coming down the road and two cars going up the road so I'm hopeful I got headlights and taillights in it 30 seconds was the perfect exposure that's exactly how long it took the vehicles to get from the point where I can't see them to the point where they're past me I think this may turn out to be a good shot we won't know until we get home get it on the computer and that's where we're headed now If you enjoyed our trip to Red Cliff, Colorado and to photograph the Green Bridge, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and share with your friends. Bye.